All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Just wanted to do a quick update on the tilled versus no-tilled soil, and uh, let's see what we're dealing with. All right, so here's here's the last few rows of no-till, and the first few rows of conventional till. It uh, there's unevenness to the field. It goes with the rows and from row to row. Uh, on this row over, you can see it kind of gets to a big spot, then it dips down in another big spot. Um, I don't have an answer for that. Same on this row. It, it gets big and then there's dips to it that way. The only thing I can think of is maybe how moisture is through the soil. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see if we can't take it. So it is, it is kind of overcast, <clears throat> but we just got rain. So it's saying, it's saying we're close to 90 today. So if we just stick, stick that probe in, might not see a whole lot today. Um, well, he's not moving. He's not moving much at all. He's just staying at 90 degrees as air temperature. We go a little shallower. He's just staying right there. There's not enough sunlight today, but if we come over to some residue, if we wipe some residue away, and we just go in a little bit. There he's down to 80, 82. Down to 82 about. So, so 10 degrees different, a couple degrees difference. And to be expected with, without sun. Um, but the other thing we notice here is there's signs of life. We have we have worm tunnels, we have worm castings. <clears throat> Just can't see them yet. We don't have much for soil structure, but you can see all the all the holes. So there's clearly life here. We're just not finding them. And that's that's understandable. This field <clears throat> doesn't exactly have a history of health. Um, no soil structure yet. Pretty good. A good field for a starting experiment. But when we come over here to tillage, I mean that was right there. We come right here. <clears throat> there's not a hole. There's there may be one hole right there. There is not a hole anywhere to be seen over here to show indications of life. Um, that's, that's a huge, huge difference. And so we'll see where that takes us in the future. So at this point, it's kind of boring, kind of a boring update. It's pretty much a tie. Everything looks very equal. Um, and so this side, we got to get cover cropping. This side, we got to get some chemical on and go from there but so far the soil armor is a big deal for me in my area because uh, july august we get so bling and hot that on this side we're going to lose all that water to just trying to keep the plant cool instead of growing and we're going to lose all our soil life in the top three inches because the top three inches are just going to get way too hot they're not going to be able to live there um, but even if it's tied on, on yield right now, that means that the, the no-till side is, you know, 50, 50 bucks a head. Uh, you know, the 15, 15 bushel or better already advantage. And uh, yeah, the one thing you can see behind me is, uh, I don't know if the camera can pick up the orange steak. Right there, right there is an orange steak. And there's another one right there. 
We're doing the underwear challenge to see in a young We're doing a young or we're doing an underwear challenge to see can in, in the first year, you know, is there going to be any difference of micro life between the two sections? And so that's kind of cool. That'll be fun to see there too. All right, guys, there's a quick update. I'm out.